Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an interesting question that many React developers encounter. Our viewer asks, are lambdas in JSX attributes an anti-pattern? This question arises from a warning given by a new linter, React, which states that lambdas are forbidden in JSX attributes due to their rendering performance impact. Let's dive into this topic and explore the implications of using lambdas in JSX, especially when it comes to passing parameters to event handlers inside loops. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and I'm hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. Let's address the warning about using lambdas in JSX attributes. The linter suggests avoiding them due to performance issues. When you use a lambda function in JSX, like in your example, a new function is created every time the component renders. This can lead to unnecessary re-renders of child components. To pass parameters to an event handler without using lambdas, you can use the bind method or define the handler as a class method. For example, using the bind method, you can modify your code like this. Customers.map C to this to delete cust this C dot. Alternatively, you can define the delete cust method in your class and call it directly, ensuring it receives the correct parameters. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The question of whether using lambdas in JSX attributes is an anti-pattern is debated. JavaScript allows functions to be declared within blocks, as shown in the example. Here, a function creates a closure around an object, preserving its reference. This approach is equivalent to using an arrow function directly in the JSX. Both methods achieve the same result, demonstrating that using lambdas can be a valid choice in this context. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.